Good day, Super K teens. Yes, you are our Super Kapampangan teens. How are you today? I hope you are doing good at your respective homes. By the way, I am Teacher Ella Rodriguez de Jos, or simply Teacher Ella, and I will be your learning buddy for this episode. I am so excited to run down all the three segments for today's episode. The first is entitled, Transcoding Orally and in Writing, the Information Presented in Diagrams, Charts, Tables, and Graphs. Second, Giving the Meaning of Given Signs and Symbols, such as Road Signs and Prohibited Signs. Third, Following Directions Using a Map. For our segment one, transcoding orally and in writing the information presented in diagrams, charts, tables, and graphs, I want you to study the table on your screen and answer the following questions. Question number one. What are the three stories presented in the table? A. Creation story. Maria Makiling, Good Prince Bantugan. B. Jewel, Jasper, Students. Letter C. Male, Female, Title. Our answer is letter A. Question number two. How many students are there in section Jewel? A. 25, B, 30, C, 40. Our answer is letter C. Question number three. How about in section Jasper? A, 40, B, 20, C, 15, The answer is letter A. Question number four. Who likes to read the good Prince Bantugan most? A. Section Jewel male. B. Section Jasper male. Or C. Section Jewel female. Our answer is letter A. Question number five. How about the least? A. Section Jewel, male. B. Section Jewel, female. Or letter C. Section Jasper, female. Our answer is letter B. If you got all the correct answers, Meaning to say that you have already the knowledge about graphs and charts. Very good, Super Katines! Using graphs, diagrams, and charts can help you to get a clearer picture of your research findings and how they compare with other data. Tables are useful when you need to represent a quantity of numerical data in an accessible format and you need to show the exact numbers. Here are some of the charts and graphs that are also found in your modules. First one, we have graphs. A diagram that represents the variation of a variable in a comparison with that of one or more variables. Here are the examples. Line graph is used to record and present changes in data over a period of time. Bar graph is used to present different heights to show different values. Pie graph is used to present proportion out of the whole. Pictograph 
displays numerical information with the use of icons or picture symbols to represent data sets. Chart, a drawing that shows information in a simple way, often using lines and curves to show amount. Diagram, a graphic design that explains rather than represents. Table, a systematic arrangement of data, usually in rows and columns of ready reference. And lastly, pyramid diagram is a chart used to visualize the data in a hierarchical structure and depicts the foundation-based relationship. Graphs and charts provide major benefits. First, they can quickly provide information related to trends and comparisons by allowing for a global view of the data. It also allows members of the audience who may be less versed in the numerical analysis to follow the information and understand the presentation more fully. It is very evident that you have the knowledge about our today's episode. When we come back, we'll have the second segment, only here at Super K Telescuela. Let us have now our segment two, giving the meaning of given signs and symbols. To begin with, I will be showing some pictures on your screen and try to guess the name of the following signs and symbols that you usually see and recall where you usually see them. Are you ready? Let's go! Our first picture is this one. Do you have an idea what is the name of this sign? This is your clue. The answer is very good. No blowing of horn. Our second picture is this one. Here is your clue. The answer is, very nice, pedestrian crossing. Our third picture is this one. Here is your clue. The answer is, perfect, turn right. Our fourth picture is this one. Here is your clue. The answer is good, speed limit. Our fifth and last picture is this one. Here is your clue. The answer is good, no throwing of garbage. Did you get all the answers, Super K teens? If so, very good. Giving meaning to given signs and symbols measures our knowledge on the things we need for our survival. Being able to understand the meaning of road signs, prohibited signs, and other symbols equates our ability to avoid untoward incidents. Wherever you go, it may be in school, hospital, bank, mall and road you will be seeing different signs and symbols understanding the meaning of these signs and symbols is important because they are very much useful and needed in real life a proof for this is when you travel in order for you to reach your destination safely 
is by following the traffic signs and that you see along the road. Traffic signs warn you of possible dangers and provide information. They tell you what the rules are and what the road conditions are like. When we come back, we'll have our third and last segment. But before that, it's trivia time! Do you have an idea what are the three most read books in the world? Here are your clues. We will reveal the answer when we come back only here at Super K Telescuela. And we're back! Now, do you know the answers to our questions a while back? What do you think are the three most read books in the world? The three most read books in the world are The Holy Bible, Quotations from Chairman Mao Tse Tung, and Harry Potter. Wow! Interesting fact! For our last segment, Following directions using a map. Let us try to assess if you already have prior knowledge about maps. Study this map on your screen and identify if the given statement is true or false. Number 1. The bank is located beside the gas station. The answer is... False. Number two, the supermarket is at the corner of Mindanao Street and Luzon Highway. The answer is true. Number three, along Mindanao Street, the flower shop is next to the restaurant. The answer is true. Number four, Across the mall in Visayas Street is the amusement park. The answer is false. And number five, across the gym in Mindanao Street is a flower shop. The answer is true. I hope you got a perfect score. Super K teens. Following direction using a map tests our knowledge not just about map reading, but also about imperatives and prepositions such as in, out, top, under, and beside. Maps are among the most helpful references and study aids because they can be used for many different purposes. They can be used when planning a trip, when studying weather patterns and physical features of different places, and many others. For our final evaluation, to assess what you have learned for today's episode, let us answer these tests. Are you ready, Super KTs? Let's go! For our first activity, let's answer the following. Number 1. What is the most visited post? A. Online Mass B. Vlog C. TikTok D. News Our answer is letter C. Number 2. How much time is consumed when walking? A. 35 minutes B. 20 minutes C. 5 minutes D. 28 minutes The answer is letter A. Did you get all the correct answers? Good job! And 
For our next activity, identify the meaning of the following signs. Our first picture, A. One hour parking only. B. No parking at any time. C. Five-minute parking allowed. The answer, letter B. Our second picture, A. Do not use your phone. B. Use your phone anytime. C. Phone is allowed. The answer is letter A. Our third picture, A. Smoking is allowed. B. Smoking is dangerous. C. Smoking is prohibited. The answer is letter C. Did you get all the answers, Super K teens? If so, very good! And for our last activity in this episode, observe the map and answer the questions. Number 1. The public market is located at Del Pilar Street and blank. A. Luna Street B. Rizal Avenue C. Bonifacio Avenue Our answer is letter B. Number 2. If you will be crossing Rizal Avenue from high school, you will come across the blank. A. Elementary School B. Park C. Covered Court Our answer is letter A. Number 3. If you will be crossing Luna Street from high school, you will reach the A. Mall B. Church C. Park Our answer is letter C. There you go, Super K teens! How about giving yourselves a resounding applause for a job well done? Congratulations! I hope you have learned a lot from our three lessons in this episode. Thank you for participating, Super K teens! This has been your teacher host for today, Teacher Ella from Becquerel National High School. Be focused and always stay positive in life. See you again next time only here at Super K Tennis Escuela.